Hey guys, welcome to another Yavi1 video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about getting started with Yavi1 when you are brand new to the app. And what's cool about it is there's a bunch of presets that have been built into the app to help you guys get started so that you don't have to go in and customize all the different features. You can just go in and load the presets to get a lot of the cool options enabled for you automatically. So that's what we're going to do here. So out of the box, uh, Yavi1 actually works great as a display. So when you get your alerts, they're going to go ahead and show up here for you, which is great. Uh, some of the features like GPS lockouts, for example, are not turned on by default. So we're going to go ahead and use the presets to enable those for us. There's actually three sets of presets, three categories that we're going to be taking a look at. The first is going to be the preset specifically for Yavi 1 for this app. The second thing is going to be the presets for the V1 where you can configure your detector itself. Finally, the last set of presets is going to go ahead and enable custom sweeps for you. So that's what we're going to go ahead and cover is those three sets of presets. So to get started, we'll go to the main window here. We'll go into settings. And uh, this first top option here, settings, is going to enable the, or that's where you go to actually customize the app itself. So what we'll do on the bottom left, there's a button that says preset. We'll press that and you'll see there's actually four different sets of presets for the app. The first one says Savvy 35 miles an hour. And for Savvy, for you guys who don't know, it is a device that plugs into your car's OBD2 port and it reads how fast you're driving. When you're driving below a certain speed, it'll go ahead and mute your alerts for you, which is a great way to start quieting the app down, or the V1 down when you're driving around in town. Uh, instead of using Savvy itself, you can use your phone's GPS to basically emulate that capability without having to have Savvy itself. So if you want to enable that functionality, you'll select the first preset. The second one is going to enable Savvy plus GPS lockouts. And GPS lockouts are another way to help deal with false alerts. As you're driving around, the app can automatically learn the area where you're driving. And if it sees the same false alerts in the same locations over and over and over, it'll automatically learn that those are false, alert, or false alerts and start locking them out for you. Uh, that's a really handy feature, and if you want to enable that, you'll select the second option. Now, the third option is going to enable overlays, and overlays will go ahead and I'll just show you. Apply preset, we'll do yes, and let's go ahead and put Yavi 1 in the background. Now, Yavi 1 plays well with other apps, meaning if you have another app running in the foreground, such as Waze, a GPS, uh, you're listening to music, you're taking a phone call, if you get an alert that pops up in your V1, you'll actually see the alert pop up like this as an overlay. And then you can tap on the overlay and you'll go ahead and get right back into Yavi 1 like this. So overlays are a really great way to actually use another app uh, while you're also using Yavi 1 in the background. So that's really handy. Uh, let's go ahead now and go back into the Yavi 1 presets. And then you'll see the final option there says boxes plus KA out of the box muting. Now what this is going to do, uh, two main things. It's going to go ahead and create a series of frequency boxes for KA band, meaning certain ranges where there's going to be legitimate police radar, it's going to put those alerts with a special different colored background. It's going to give you different colored backgrounds for X band, for K band, as well as the three legit KA frequencies, which is 33.8, 34.7, and 35.5. So for those signals, you'll go ahead and get a custom background. For areas where you're going to get Cobra falses, like 33.6, those will actually be outside of those boxes that this will automatically set up, and those will be automatically muted. So if you'd like to have that feature, you'll select the fourth option down there at the bottom. And that would go ahead, apply preset, and we'll hit yes. Awesome. Now you've got those features enabled for you automatically. Next, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go up here and we'll go and tweak the V1 itself. Now, I've got a V1 set up with factory defaults, which is the first option there. We can't actually edit the factory defaults because they're, you know, factory defaults. So the second setting below that says A mode factory, and that's also factory defaults, but this is basically a duplicate that we can go in and edit here if we like. Uh, if we want to at any time push any of these settings and put them into the V1, we'll press that third button, uh, the white piece of paper with the purple arrow, and that will actually push those settings into the V1. 
Now, in order to enable custom sweeps, we're going to have to enable Euro mode, and that's going to be covered by the last two options. You'll see X, K, and KA, and finally, K and KA. So pretty simple there. If you live in an area where X, K, and KA band are used, you'll go ahead and select that option. If you live in an area where X band is not in use and you want to enable just K and KA, we'll go ahead and push that, and there you go. So now you'll see that the A switches over to the U, which means we're now in Euro mode, and uh, we have X band turned off, and we have K and KA band turned on. Now finally, what we're going to go ahead and do is push custom sweeps into the detector. So to do that, we'll go back, go up here, and let's go into custom sweeps. So again, the V1 is set up right now with factory defaults, and what we're going to go ahead and do is you'll see there is a preset here built in for 33.8, 34.7 and 35.5. We're going to go ahead and push this to the V1. This will go ahead and set us up with custom sweeps. So we'll get better performance, better range, and reduced falsing. So now that we have the custom sweeps enabled, you'll see there is now a red C there, which lets us know that, yep, we've got custom sweeps set up in the V1. And there you go. That's it. If you take a look there at the bottom, written in yellow, you'll see K and KA band. That's the profile that we've got loaded. And underneath that, you'll see the custom sweeps, 33.8, 34.7, and 35.5. That's all it takes to get up and running really quickly and easily with Yavi 1. You basically just set up uh, the Yavi 1 presets, the V1 presets, and the custom sweeps. And that is a way to get started quickly with the app. So cool. There you go. Thanks for watching, and happy driving.